Did you know that thumb sucking is actually quite common in children? Uh, research suggests that anywhere between 70 to 90% of children will suck their thumb at some point. Um, now usually children will grow out of this behavior by age four, but probably because you clicked on this video, you're like, all right, that's great and all Dr. Jasmine, but enough is enough. How do I get this behavior to stop? Well, in this video, I'll be sharing why children do this behavior in the first place and then simple tips you can try to help curb this behavior. So let's get into it. Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Dr. Jasmine. I'm a clinical psychologist and a mom of two little girls, and I'm helping you feel more confident in your parenting and, you know, reclaim your joy in motherhood. So if this sounds like, you know, a good fit and you haven't subscribed all yet already, what are you waiting for? Join the family. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to my channel uh, but this video was actually inspired by the conversations and the questions that I get inside of my private parent coaching community which is called the mom sisterhood a uh, quick plug in case you haven't heard of the community it is a private uh, community of like-minded moms and every month members get access to a fresh new class a Q&A coaching call with me and so much more so you can you know join join the family it's a lot of fun <laughs> okay but since I get this question a lot um, I was like, you know what? I pro probably other parents are wondering the same thing about thumb sucking, right? It's a hard behavior to know how to navigate. So I'm like, let me make a video for y'all. So let's dive into why children suck their thumb in the first place. So the reason is because children have natural reflexes. They have natural sucking and rooting reflexes. And so sometimes even in in utero, right, while, you're, while they are in the womb, they will suck their thumb. And it is based in their need for comfort and security. So during times of stress, they're upset or they're nervous or they're trying to get themselves to sleep, they uh, may develop this habit because it's comforting in nature um, and sometimes for some children they may not do it for a while and then during times of stress or change or transition they might uh, go back to this behavior um, um, and it's because of that right because it's comforting to them so in order to avoid the long-term impacts of thumb sucking commonly there's dental issues that come with it most experts will recommend trying to work on curbing the behavior between three and four um, definitely before their permanent teeth come in so by age three no later than four ish is when you want to start thinking about you know things that you can do to help curb the behavior. So let's get into those tips. So the first thing you wanna do with your child, especially if they're older, they're two, three, four even, you wanna start with a conversation. This is always a great place to start. Um, and you wanna share with them why it's important that we curb this behavior, right? Why do we, why is it important that we stop this behavior? So you can first start the conversation with, hey bud, I noticed that you suck your thumb. And you know, depending on your child and their unique situation, you can point out maybe the common times you notice it um, and to kind of draw some awareness and then invite them to tell you about it like do you, do you notice that or what do you think about that so that's a great place to start and then you want to educate them of why it's important that we stop that behavior so you can let them know that you know although you understand we're gonna work on stopping uh, this because it's not really great for your body specifically your teeth and your, your fingers as well and so starting today we're gonna work on keeping our keeping our fingers outside of our mouth you want to be very clear so instead of saying stop or no you know sucking your thumb or whatever you want to be very specific that you know please keep your fingers out of your mouth and so that's how you want to frame the overall uh, expectation or the goal that you guys are working on is we're gonna work on keeping our fingers out of our mouth I know you could do it so you want to end with some confidence in them some positivity right because they're going to uh, follow our lead in this okay so if we're stressed um, and unsure then they're gonna feel that same same way so in Instead, you want to keep the vibe positive and say, you know what? I know you can do it. Um, I know you got this. Uh, and, and I'm going to help you, right? I'm going to be here uh, to help you along the way. Tip number two is to replace that behavior with another behavior. So it's not enough to say, okay, we're going to stop. We're going to get rid of this behavior um, because we've got to replace it with a po more positive coping skill, if you will, especially if they, they are gravitating towards sucking their thumb for comfort. So often what that will look like is you're going to replace 
thumb sucking with another comfort item or object like a stuffed animal or another special toy or maybe it's like a sensory gadget or a fidget spinner something that they can use to calm their bodies uh, draw comfort out of um, and keep their keep their fingers you know moving and stimulated so definitely want to work towards helping them come up with something else that they can do so this is a collaborative process because it's going to depend on your child and their personal preferences so while you're shopping uh, make sure you involve them in that process now I will link down below some of my favorite um, recommended sensory toys and fidget toys uh, that you can check out but again you want to kind of get their input on what they think will help them keep their fingers out of their mouth essentially tip number three is you want to catch them being good so um, during the early days especially you're gonna want to pounce on those moments in time where maybe they get frustrated or maybe they get a little nervous and in Instead of sucking their thumb they do something else right they do something else positive like uh, talking it through letting you know what they need or asking for help or trying to problem solve so you want to pounce on that especially during the early days when you're trying to shape this behavior you want to catch them being good as I say and uh, notice it right notice it and compliment and and really show that you're proud of them for all the progress that you're making so you can say things like I knew you could do it or you know you're so good at keeping your hands out of your mouth um, this will help you help your teeth grow in nice and healthy um, well done right so keep Keep it positive remind them of the purpose now for some kids you doing this they're gonna be like oh actually you reminded me I want to suck my thumb <laughs> Um, so you, you know every kid is a little bit different but overall I guess the general message I'm trying to say is especially during the early days when you're really working hard on curbing this behavior it can be so easy to notice <laughs> the times when they they fall back and they slide back into that habit but instead I want you to train your mind to notice the good and point it out and get really excited and celebrate it both so you can remind yourself but also remind your child and keep in mind you know just think about how hard it is for us to break habits right or start new habits and create new healthy habits like maybe we want to uh, start a habit of reading more or exercising more or eating healthy just think about how hard it is for us to break those habits or start new habits and then think about your child and their <laughs> developing brain um, and how they've been doing this probably for most of their life or for a good chunk of their of their life so have some compassion and remind yourself of all the little small wins because uh, that will get you through the early days <laughs> number four is to give gentle reminders as needed so um, when it's when you when it's needed uh, you want to just gently remind them now again it's so important that I want to emphasize gentle right we, we want to hold back on being upset getting irritated being punitive because that'll actually exacerbate um, the issue because remember oftentimes the little ones are gravitating towards this habit because it's comforting well if we're meeting them with stress right and pressure they're gonna want to do it even more because it is comforting so while it might be easy too for children to some children to break the habit right you have a conversation you replace it with a comforting toy and that bam they're good to go other kids might need a little bit more guidance need a little bit more time need a little bit more reminders um, so that's okay too right um, and also I just released a video about how to help our child through change um, and so that'll have some helpful tips for you guys so be sure to watch that after you watch this video what you can try to say is you know please keep your hands out of your mouth here's X instead right whatever maybe toy you've cho you've chosen or maybe it's another toy that they're really enjoying in that moment um, you can you know say hey here's this instead or do you, would you like to play with this um, or remember we're working Working on keeping our hands out of our mouth so that our teeth can grow healthy um, or you know what should we do instead so invite them to think of other things um, that they can do instead with their fingers so again keep it gentle keep it nonchalant no stress we're not flustered we're just like hey gentle reminder it's we're keeping our hands out of our mouth <laughs>
uh, in case you forgot. Um, now tip number five is you could consider using a reward system. So especially if your child is struggling in the early days or the early weeks of kicking this habit, um, some children do really well with some form of positive reinforcement. So again, this is not negative. It's not punitive. We're not taking things away um, if they mess up. We're instead trying to help them learn that new skill by rewarding them consistently. Um, with you could do a sticker or extra books at bedtime whatever you decided um, is something that will keep them motivated keep them excited keep it fun right we're keeping it light here so that can be a real fun way now of course we're not doing this forever um, and I'm happy to do a video about how to set up sticker charts uh, in in the kind of the right way I guess if you will to set everybody up for success let me know in the comments if that sounds like something you'd be interested in um, but we're not doing the sticker chart forever it's just for the thumb sucking so you pick one specific behavior and then you'll gradually taper it down tip number six is consider physical interventions if needed so again we're kind of up in the ante as we go along with the tips um and so if you're finding again that your child is struggling maybe the maybe the reward chart's not working um maybe those gentle reminders are not seeming to stick um then there are physical interventions that you can use um to help them because sometimes kids just need an extra help so there's those uh guards that that they can have um there's the those wrist guard or an actual one that goes on their on their hands I'll, I'll link again I'll link my Amazon storefront where I have my recommended um, items that you can check out they also have things you uh, nail polish you can put on their fingers it's safe for kids three and up that's bitter so it won't be as appeasing uh, for them or if they bite their nails this can also be a good uh, a tool to have. Uh, also, and speaking of tools, and something that you can do, especially in the uh, as you're starting that conversation with them, is to get children's books about thumb sucking. So there's one called uh, Thumbs Up Brown Bear, and I'll share the the pictures over here. Uh, there's a couple other good ones. Um, so check out those children's books. Children's books are one of my favorite ways to teach children new skills. Normal behaviors but also show them that there's different ways to do those things um, and just to keep that conversation going so definitely check out my Amazon page because I'll link all of these items that I'm referring to in that page now of course of course like anything else if you continue to struggle if you try some of these tips out and you're still very concerned about your child's dental health or their health in, in general don't hesitate to reach out to their dentist or pediatrician to help you uh, get more guidance and more tailored support for your uh, struggles uh, speaking of thumbs <laughs> be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you got any value from it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.